I think mobile devices are going to play a similar but expanding role to what they play today. They are another device within the network that needs to be controlled. Whether the company owns the machine or not is almost irrelevant. It, the question is more around, will company data be leaving the corporate network and finding its way to mobile devices? And those are from Excel spreadsheets to confidential emails to PowerPoint or whatever. And so consequently, are businesses in a position to protect that data um, any better in 2009 and 2010 than maybe they have been in the last couple of years? So the role, I think, is expanding. Almost all mobile device technologies, their operating systems that they use, have powerful security technologies built into them, but they're rarely used. And that's a challenge. Um, at a business level, small, medium, or large, or within government entities, et cetera, the, the, the big deal is how do you deploy enforcement technologies out to the machines that are touching your corporate data? And different manufacturers of these machines have different ways of getting it done or not getting it done um, at a corporate level. So for example, on the BlackBerry Enterprise Server and in Blackberries, really what you're doing is setting a policy at the enterprise server and pushing that out to your devices. Now what that does is it triggers the controls on the device, but those can also be undone. In, in your Apple device, it's slightly different. You have to do it on the device individually. So the technology exists, the ability to deploy and enforce is not well thought out at this stage, and that's really the challenge. And most IT departments know they have an issue, but getting between the knowledge of having an issue and the ability to enforce it has really been the burden. Clearly they're not. I mean, again, these are just machines that are touching our networks and they hold sensitive data. So um, today and evolving more in the future, there will be specific and highly targeted attacks that try to leverage um, the data that happen to exist on mobile devices. There was just a recent one that, was, that came out of Australia that was a Bluetooth-based attack against Symbian operating systems. And it was a, an attack that moved a Trojan onto the devices, and these are, these are in environments where they actually use the mobile phone for payment methods. And what it was doing, once it was on the machine or on the Symbian mobile, was sending small transactions out to another country and a banking environment. When I say small, even one of these machines, it between 45 cents and 90 cents. But when you're talking about millions of devices, this stuff starts to add up. And you go to a lot of different countries where there's millions and millions per country. So that's just an example of a unique attack using Bluetooth to get a Trojan onto a Symbian device. Because they're just another machine on your network. And what you got to consider today, and a business has to consider, and some are really wrestling with this, is do I differentiate how I handle um, the data that winds up on a machine by whether or not we own it as a company or the employee owns it? And I think what's happening today is everyone understands that it's just another machine and your corporate data is going out there, so it needs to be protected. And there's a wide range of what you can do. Should you force authentication, you know, user ID and password like we do on a laptop? Yeah, you probably should do that. Well, what about encryption? Should we encrypt what we store on there? Maybe our email? Do we have the ability to wipe the device? In other words, clean it if it's lost. So there's a lot of basic things that we should consider doing. The wrestling match has been, so I have employees that buy their own devices and now want to redirect email traffic, et cetera, down to, the, down to their own personal machine. Should I impose rules on that machine that's, that do something similar? Like you gotta have a password, you gotta encrypt it. And I think generally speaking, the answer today is yeah, because it's your data. And if they want to use your data, then they need to ingest an agent that allows you to enforce the rules of use. One thing to keep emphasizing to IT professionals is that the average cost of a data breach in the United States today is about $6.3 million. And that's the cost to he who was breached. The value of a record is continuing to go up. The most recent example is the monster hack, you know, monster.com, the Russian that allegedly perpetrated the crime was selling those data pieces at 300 British pounds per record, about 400 US dollars. That's an enormous amount of money per record. So it has value, it's a currency. Now you, we all know that, that mobile devices just become an extension of our network. All that same basic stuff is sitting out there on that machine. We have the same responsibility for protecting that data, whether we as a company provided it to the employee or they provide it themselves. If it's touching our data, we need to impose rules to protect that data. Simple.